On December the 9th, 1995, the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, or UNESCO, officially registered Luang Prabang as a World Heritage Site. Unlike other World Heritage Sites, Luang Prabang is not just a location, but a city in northern Laos. Surrounded by lush nature, mountains and green forests. It's flanked by two significant natural watercourses, the Mekong River, a crucial Southeast Asian waterway, and the Nam Khan River, a vital Mekong tributary. As one of the oldest cities in Laos, with a history spanning over a thousand years, Luang Prabang boasts ancient architecture that harmoniously blends traditional Lao culture with colonial styles influenced by French colonizers in the late 18th century. In addition to this unique architecture, Luang Prabang is a Buddhist center in the country, home to more than 40 ancient and renowned temples. Traditional lifestyles, customs and cultures continue, such as the morning almsgiving ceremony or Sai Bat, in which sticky rice is offered to monks a practice long associated with the Lao people. This cultural preservation led the World Heritage Committee to vote in favor of recognizing Luang Prabang as a World Heritage Site during their meeting in Berlin, Germany in 1995. The committee cited the city's exemplary blend of traditional Lao and Western architecture and the excellent preservation of urban landscapes, architecture, religion, and traditional ways of life and culture. Luang Prabang's world heritage status positively impacts the country's economy, a landlocked country with geographical limitations. In 1986, Laos transitioned from a socialist to a liberal economy, leading to economic growth dependent on China and Thailand due to its lack of sea access. Gaining UNESCO World Heritage status for Luang Prabang has allowed the country to attract tourists. For many years, Luang Prabang has been a destination for tourists from around the globe, seeking tranquility and traditional lifestyles. Over the past 20 years, the number of foreign tourists in Luang Prabang has increased tenfold. In the first three quarters of 2023, nearly 800,000 visited the city. Tourism in Luang Prabang has generated significant income for the country, with revenues in 2023 amounting to 559 million US dollars. Van Tong, a 37-year-old Laotian taxi driver, observes that Laos has seen a significant increase in tourism since his youth thanks to the improved transportation infrastructure. The introduction of high-speed trains has made the country more accessible, attracting more visitors. He notes a shift in the demographic of tourists. While Europeans used to dominate the tourist scene, there is now a noticeable rise in Asian tourists, particularly from Korea. Peng, a 43-year-old Laotian vendor, enjoys the influx of tourists to Laos because it provides her with more opportunities to sell food. The situation might change, though, as Luang Prabang's world heritage status is under threat. Reports indicate that Luang Prabang is on the list of cities at risk of being delisted from the World Heritage Registry. The World Heritage Committee is set to consider this matter in July 2024 in New Delhi, India. Several reports suggest that the primary factors threatening Luang Prabang's status are urban development projects encroaching on the traditional lifestyle and culture that define this World Heritage City. According to UNESCO regulations, World Heritage Sites should preserve cultural and architectural heritage and should not construct buildings or any structures that could erode their unique identity or traditional culture. 
Another factor seen as jeopardizing the city's status is the Luang Prabang Hydro Power Project, which could negatively impact the city's scenery and traditional ways of life. The dam project is a joint venture between Thailand and Laos, aimed at exporting electricity to Thailand. And so much comes with that seasonal change uh, uh, that's unique to the culture there at Luang Prabang, uh, related to how locals carry out their lives, their livelihoods, for example, farming along the riverbanks and fishing, um, and all of that, you know, those elements are part of what made Luang Prabang unique uh, and got it its UNESCO World Heritage designation. Now with a higher river level um, and a less, you know, less fluctuation across the seasons, you don't see those things anymore. Another factor transforming Luang Prabang was the opening of the Laos-China Railway in 2021. While the railway has made it easier for tourists to visit Luang Prabang, it has also led to foreign businesses, especially from China and Vietnam, taking over those locally owned. The influx of Chinese and Vietnamese investors has caused many locals to sell or rent out their properties and move outside the city while newcomers transform the city for commerce and investment. Modern buildings are popping up in the old town, protected by UNESCO, gradually erasing traditional architecture. There have been cases where World Heritage cities were delisted due to urban development. One such is Liverpool, a major city in the United Kingdom, listed as a World Heritage Site in 2004 for its beautiful and ancient Victorian architecture. In July 2021, Liverpool was delisted. The primary reasons were large-scale real estate developments along the River Mersey and the construction of a new football stadium for Everton FC, which UNESCO said caused the city to lose its unique characteristics irreversibly. At that time, many Liverpool residents felt that World Heritage status was not crucial and the city needed development. For them, Liverpool is renowned not only for being a World Heritage city, but also for its football clubs, Everton and Liverpool FC, and of course, the Beatles. In the case of Luang Prabang, many expressed concerns about losing World Heritage status. Some locals view the status as a bulwark against foreign business encroachment, fearing that losing this status could lead to an influx of foreign businessmen and workers, potentially taking jobs from locals. Most importantly, the city might lose its traditional identity, which is a key selling point forever. Development projects in Luang Prabang in recent years have partly aimed to stimulate the economy, which slowed down due to the COVID-19 pandemic and global conflicts, leading to the depreciation of the Lao Kit currency and high inflation. For Laos, tourism and foreign investment are, though, crucial for economic stability. The crucial question now is where the balance lies between development and preserving the traditional lifestyle and culture of the people to keep the economic engine running without losing Luang Prabang as a world heritage city. If you want to see more great content from all over the world, please like the video, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. Thank you.